Hi, welcome to Never Show the Monster. I'm Kelly Attaway. I'm Chelsea Hollander. And today we are kicking off our new theme of party games. And we are starting that with the movie Bodies, Bodies, Bodies from just a couple years ago. A uh, couple? One. Last year? Last year. <laughs> yeah, last In fact, year. we like decided to do this movie. And then the next day on Twitter, I saw that it was like... Bodies, Bodies, Bodies released in theaters one year ago today. And I was like, oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, synchronicity. Okay. We're on the right path. <laughs> yeah, just a year a little bit later. I think we wouldn't watch it right when it came out. but We, we did. Lee Pace? Horror? Yeah. That's like our whole but thing. But then we ended up prioritizing other movies, I think, at the time. Did yeah. you watch it at the time? No. I did not watch it at the time. This mm-hmm. was my first watch. Same. Um, fun. I enjoyed it. I loved it. Uh, yeah, same. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, okay, good. Because I know that it has kind of like mixed reviews, but I really enjoyed it. And at first I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy it, but by the end of it, I was like, yeah, yeah. Absolutely same. Yeah. 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 When this movie came out, you know, heard Lee Pace Horror was on board. And then because of the mixed reviews and I saw Pete Davidson was in it. I was like, (laughs) not that I have anything against him. I was just like, SNL, comedy. I don't know that this is going to be the type of horror movie for me. And it was funny. It is funny. But it's also really good. (laughs) So I'll allow it. (laughs) So recommend watch before Mm -hmm. listening if you do want to watch it. Or if you're wondering if you should watch it. Recommend watch. Yeah, go for it. Um, Before we get too far into the movie, though... I've been thinking more about talk to me and I've got, Oh yeah. I've come to a conclusion, which is that I absolutely would have held the hand and said, talk to me. Would you have allowed it come in? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. No, they were too, there were too many boils. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. (laughs) What if you got a non boily one? I don't know. I don't know. You know, like, um, like part of why pregnancy freaks me out is because that's another consciousness inside you. So I think <laughs> that this would trigger that same thing. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That is fair. I I think I would be in the room willing to record you. That's Thanks. where that's as that's as close as I would be. Folks, you heard it here oh, first. This know. is how we become I... TikTok famous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just I I haven't stopped thinking about it. And so would you, know. you talk to me and then like Try to change your person if you could. Like, oh, like chat roulette with them? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I'd do that. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good call. Meet Good a bunch. Call. See if I can detect yeah. a pattern. Yeah. Yeah. I think, although, hold on. There is an additional caveat here. I don't think that I would hold the hand if, like, I had seen what happened in the course of the movie. You that's know? That's fair. If you had been the first one to go up and hold it, Mm -hmm. would you have been skeptical? Is that why you would have been willing to do it to see if... That's part of it. Absolutely. Like... How's your spirit box? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, for the the listener, I did purchase a spirit box. Um, It's hard to know if anything is coming through because I can't ask the questions and do the answers at the same time, right? So you got to find someone that'll do the Estes method with you. Is that yeah. what I'm hearing? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it's also really, it's really weird to listen to. Like, Ooh. like you hear, okay. So for the listener, if you're unfamiliar, the spirit box is a device that you've, if you watch any ghost hunting TV, you've seen it. It's, um, It just sweeps through radio stations. You can set the speed, but it just like rotates through nearby radio stations. And so what you end up hearing is like just radio noises. Sometimes it's like like dead channel sound. Sometimes it's just like little snippets of music, teeny tiny snippets. Like I have mine set to 150 milliseconds. So I'm hearing at most 150 milliseconds of one radio wow. station at a time. And so you just get like little, it's like, <laughs> like, like you don't hear, you don't hear a ton. And then the Estes method is, oh, and so the way ghost hunters use this typically is like, You listen to it, and if you hear words and phrases, um, maybe that's the ghost, (laughs) which sounds so dumb when you say it. (laughs) No, I don't Um, think it does. 
And so the Estes method is like that, but the person listening, instead of just playing it out in open air, the person listening wears headphones and then the person asking questions can't hear the radio. Um, And sometimes you get really compelling conversations that way. And I am very fascinated with the theory, like, is this... um, are you literally hearing the words with your ears or is this oh. like a latent psychic thing? Oh. Um, and it's still, I think it's still too early days to know for sure. I am more inclined to believe that it's a psychic phenomenon at this point in my life, but I don't know how I'll feel next week. So, so listening to it is really weird and it's, it feels like, um, I hate to bring up this bigot. <laughs> Uh, J.K. Rowling. Oh, okay. Do you remember in Goblet of Fire, Mad-Eye Moody had that mirror, and Mm -hmm. as your enemies get closer, you can see them more clearly in the mirror, and until Mm -hmm. they're close, you can just kind of tell that people are walking around back there. Mm -hmm. That's how it feels listening to it. It's like I can, like I hear the radio noises, but I can also hear, like, maybe if I just listened a little harder... I could hear huh. the words like like I like I'm really really straining to hear what's going on under under the radio noises. So huh. it's a, it's just a weird experience. Um I just got to keep keep practicing it, I think. Hmm. Not that I'll ever hear anything paranormal, but like it's just Maybe. weird to listen to. Like I want to be able to yeah. hear it better. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Want to be able to hone in on it a little yeah, more? Yeah, exactly. Like, like have a kind of focus. Like words are being said, but I can't hear them. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So, gonna yeah, keep, keep me updated. I will. Um. But should we talk about this movie? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> so bodies, bodies, bodies. Uh, a group of very rich like 20 somethings mostly recent college grads get together yeah, like- for a hurricane party at one of their family's uh very remote mansion and um they play the game bodies 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 and that kicks off an actual series of deaths they f- start finding real dead bodies and everyone becomes a suspect very fun it's a very fun movie um here are some yep. facts and figures release year 2022 Director Helena Rain. How do you say it? I said Rain, but it could be wrong. Could be Reen. I Rain. do not know. It is spelled R E I J N. J N. She's from the Netherlands. Mm-hmm. And her IMDb photo is like, yeah, you are from the Netherlands. Like, <laughs> I don't know what it is about it. <laughs> the way and it's she hasn't lit. directed much either. She's been like only three other movies or two other movies, I think. Yeah. She had acted in a bunch, it looked like. Yeah. So, um, yeah, good for her. Yeah. The um, It is based on a, a story concept, a spec script by, I didn't write down her name. What is it? I did it's just the, look at it. It's the, do you guys remember Cat Person, the viral story? Kristen Rupinian? Rup- mm-hmm. Rup- <laughs> Rupinian? <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Sorry, sorry, Kristen. I'm sorry. I'm not the one to <laughs> pronounce names. Oh, well, I, a lot if of If I names. mispronounce it, you're in a what's Harry that word? Whenever Elvis. Um, yeah, you're in a good. You're group. in a good group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then the so she submitted a spec script, and I guess most of that was is is not present in the movie. It's like a couple character names, and no. Uh, and her spec script was more of a slasher and less of this, like, class and Gen Z commentary. Oh, <laughs> so all of huh. that was added um, with the screenplay writer, who is Sarah DeLapp, or yes. potentially DeLappy. DeLappy? Uh, y- we y'all, appreciate this you, gonna... Sarah. Mm-hmm. Sarah yeah. Dean. <laughs> this is going to be a rough one for names. Some of the actors' yeah, names probably. are... I am unfamiliar with as well. Um, the tagline for this one, can you guess it? Body, uh, what's the, oh no, they say bodies, bodies, bodies. I was going to say, what do you say when you find the body and it's bodies? They say bodies, bodies, bodies whenever you find oh, the body, Oh yeah, right? probably, I think so. 
murder it, in it the dark? It doesn't have any. Uh, no, when the it, lights are out? No. <laughs> Do you have your phone? Use your phone. You're getting closer. Phone, phone, phone. <laughs> yeah, that's it. No. <laughs> But I do think that that would not have been a bad one. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> no, it is. Hire this me. is not a safe space. Oh, yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, this is like a closed door mystery. We've got an ensemble cast. And uh, I figured we would run through the characters. Re- and usually we just run through actors and character names. But I thought let's do like some quick background on each character to like lubricate discussion of their (laughs) interpersonal relationships. That is fair. So we've got um, Amanda, Amanda Stenberg as Sophie and she's very rich. Um, She's freshly out of rehab. She has been cut off from her trust fund and she's been avoiding this group of friends that uh, are all at the hurricane party. We've got Maria Bakalova. Y'all, that sounds right. I love each and every one of you. <laughs> I, I just don't know how to say names. Uh, she plays B, who is working class, where the rest of this group is pretty rich. She's got a lot of like family responsibilities that she's dealing mm-hmm. with. She's Sophie's new girlfriend, and she's Eastern European? I think so. That sounds right. Her accent was so faint and she's so timid that for probably the first half of the movie, I was like, is that an accent? <laughs> Could that she's be like from Bulgaria. Long Island? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she was, I think she's most known for being in Borat, maybe? Oh, who was she in Borat? Borat. <laughs> she was Borat. She was the no. titular <laughs> Borat. <laughs> Was she the one who, with Rudy Giuliani, wasn't that a person? Oh, God. Was that her? Let me check. Borat. She's so young. Rudy Giuliani. Well, wasn't that the whole thing? Is because she was a minor. And then they were like, we have this for he tried oh. to show stuff. Compromising. Oh, it's her. It is her. Okay. Oh, interesting. That's bonkers. That well, is bonkers. Huh. Huh. The huh. more you know. Well, okay. We can move on from that. <sighs> Here's another name I'm going to struggle with. Uh, Mihala Harold? I think that's right. Mihala. As Jordan. She's also in The Hate You Give. Oh, good for her. Yeah. Um, she's also very rich and pretends she's not. And she's also like conniving and struggles with jealousy. <laughs> We've yeah, got, that's accurate. Yeah. 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 She's got bad attitude. Uh, Rachel Sinat as Alice, also rich, flighty, and naive, but, like, seems like she's got a good heart. Yeah. Yeah. Love her. Uh, Podcaster, she's us. She's our analog (laughs) in this movie. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, realistically, B is us, but... Yeah. But we love Alice. (laughs) But in her heart of hearts. In her heart of hearts. It is hard. Podcasting is hard. (laughs) Podcasting is hard. She was right. (laughs) Chase Sweet Wonders as Emma, rich, aspiring actress, and very sensitive. Mm-hmm. Pete Davidson as David, um, surprise, rich. He It's his family house that the movie is set up. He used to be Sophie's best friend. He is currently Emma's boyfriend, and he is so insecure, like... Pete Davidson, I know you got a big dick. We've all seen it. So will you please just grow (laughs) up (laughs) and just uh, be a person? And then finally, we've got Lee Pace as Greg. He's Alice's new boyfriend. He is much older than everybody else in this movie. He should not be hanging out with them kids. No, absolutely not. But we all know that guy. We all know that guy. We've all been around that guy. We should not have been around that guy. Yeah. <laughs> that guy should not have been around us. Well, that's he what I meant. He should be hanging out like, with people his age. Yeah. yeah. What's he doing? Why is Lee Pace making out with this 20-year-old? It's because yeah. he's stupid. <laughs> he's dumb mm-hmm. in the movie. Mm-hmm. Greg is, mm-hmm. not Lee Pace. Um, but he's beautiful. And he's also a Libra moon. Oh, yeah. So that, he, can't that he can't be yeah, bad. He can't be bad. Yeah, he can't be bad. He's a Libra moon. He's a Libra oh. moon. So he's good. I was listening... 
to an episode of Keep It before um, we recorded where they talked about this. And I have to tell you, okay, so I was listening to it in the car and they were talking about, they were, they uh, have you ever listened to Keep It? No. Um, it's two, um, two gay men who talk about like pop culture and, um, they were talking about this body, this body, this movie, and yeah. they were talking about Lee Pace and how everyone and loves body. Lee Pace and everyone tried to make, yeah, exactly. They did talk about his body and how everyone tried to make him like the internet's boyfriend. And they were like, yeah, but I guess everyone forgot about pushing daisies. And then the other co-host was like, or wonderfalls. And then I literally screamed. <laughs> He's like, yeah, no one went as deep as we did. And I was like, I oh, did. no. <laughs> I done been deep from way back. <laughs> <laughs> I've been bobbing along in a barrel for like 10 from years. Jesus. One. <laughs> 15 years? 15. It has been longer than 10. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. He even has a dumb haircut in Wonderfalls, and I still loved it. So great. <laughs> yeah, so beautiful. Uh, he's a dreamboat. One time I, <laughs> to treat myself once, I was staying in like a nice haunted hotel. Oh. And when I booked it in the special request, just to try, like you see this online all the time. People put in a dumb request and they fulfill it. I was like doesn't hurt to try like I'm gonna tip so <laughs> let's see I requested a framed photograph of Lee Pace somewhere in the hotel room <laughs> and they provided it and they selected the best photo it was Lee Pace on his farm holding one of his chickens oh and I was like oh beautiful I love this <laughs> Did you get to keep it? Do you have it hanging up? Is that you kept it right? It wasn't like a. It wasn't like a glossy. Like they had clearly just printed it off the like in the business mm-hmm. center of the hotel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but loved it, loved it nonetheless. Appreciate the effort. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Like what a stupid request that they fulfilled. <laughs> what a delight! What a delight! Um, okay, we talked a little that that uh, we thought we might not like this movie, but yeah. ended up loving it. Mm-hmm. What did you expect going into it? Um, I thought it was going to be a murder mystery and trying to figure out who the murderer was the entire time, which is kind of what it is. Yeah. Um, and I just, I was like, oh, it's going to be a whodunit. It's going to be fine. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't think it, I thought it was going to be funny, but I thought it might try a little too hard. But I thought it was fun. It was way funnier than I thought it would be. Same. And I liked the characters a lot more than I thought I would like them. Even though that they are unlikable. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> but they're still, like, likable at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Like, you're like, oh, God. I don't relate to rich people very well. But even no. <laughs> the stuff that they were saying and doing, I was like, that's kind of relatable still. You're still kids figuring out life. You're still mm-hmm. in your 20s figuring mm-hmm. out life. And these are... What you're going through. Yeah, you don't have the barriers of having to figure out financial security, but... <laughs> the perspective was all askew, but... Yeah. Like, I, I get it. Yeah. Podcasting is still hard. <laughs> Podcasting is hard. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't have trust funds. We don't. It's so hard. We have to do job, too. <laughs> we have to do job, too. We have to do job, too. <laughs> Oh, Venmo us <laughs> at No Please Show Monster. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be more. Um, um, I think maybe I thought it was going to be like Spring Breakers, which I also oh. haven't seen. So that's maybe not fair. I thought it was going to be more that. like like party, nothing relatable. It's kind of how I'm worried about watching Infinity Pool. Is that? Like what you're no, getting from it? No, that's not what I was getting from. Oh, geez, okay. I like I'm backing away from Infinity Pool because I feel like it's like Spring Spring Breakers because Spring Breakers was like it was it was more a lot about like I don't know no, nothing I don't oh. you did it was something something happened but it felt like you were just like being plopped into something that was happening but it wasn't really ha- I don't know oh. I did not like that movie very much I mean okay. maybe on a rewatch I'd have different opinions because sometimes that happens so I don't want to like. Totally poo poo on it. I know we have some friends that really love Harmony Corinne. I have not loved a Harmony Corinne movie. So <laughs> I don't know who it is. <laughs> Gummo and kids. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, I thought yeah, Spring guy. Breakers was something else entirely, I guess. Oh. <laughs> well, it's James it, Franco and it's got like. I knew it was James Franco. I thought it was more like Spring Break on MTV. That's what horror. you would expect. And that's kind of what I. Oh, it's not horror. Oh, it's not horror. No, they're trying to like rob someone. It's I oh. fucking I don't remember the plot because I don't know if there was one, and that is what I struggle with with those so, movies. Was it Bling Ring for boys? I also haven't seen Bling oh, Ring. Kelly, Bling stop. Ring. Kelly, okay. stop. <laughs> <laughs> We've just made up all of these movies and what happens in them. Yeah. Maybe and we're we trying made them to get better. the other one to confirm. <laughs> Hey, can you tell me more about this thing I made up? Okay. <laughs> I thought that this was going to be more like traditional slasher. I didn't That's think fair. we were going to get like interpersonal stuff. I didn't think we were going to get like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I thought it was just going to be like two dimensional big titty bimbos getting slashed. And that's what I received from the reviews. I was like, oh, it's mm. just going to be all about sex and boobs. And then yeah. like there's nothing. Some movies call for that, and that's okay. And I'm not yeah, going like, to hate fine. on the movies that do have that. But when <laughs> I was like, I don't really just want to watch a movie that's all about, like, sex and nothing else and people getting killed while it's happening. Yeah. I didn't want to watch women being punished for having sex, right? Like, yeah. I thought that that was all it was going to be. But that wasn't it at all. No, not at all. Um, so far off from that. <laughs> you know what this kind of was? <laughs> this was hashtag horror for the modern girl. I know. <laughs> Hashtag horror if if it were good. If it yeah, was good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like same God. focus on technology and how it like breaks our brains. <laughs> yeah. Like uh but good. Sorry again to the director of that <laughs> who will never listen to our podcast, but if no, you do, thank no, you. No, probably not. Oh sorry. <laughs> <It's> a- <laughs> okay, so we've got this hurricane party going on. Um, guests are arriving. I mean, really just Sophie and B. Everybody else is already there. And we've got like immediate undercurrents of tension. Like mm-hmm. B is working class. So she's feeling like very intimidated to be around these yeah. people, which I get. I remember mm-hmm. going to like my rich friend's houses and being like, who? <laughs> oh, no. I feel like, maybe like you have a pool have, like... house. What is a pool house? Why right. is your pool house bigger than my apartment? <laughs> right. <laughs> You just change in here? What do you mean? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, so I I understand uh, why she feels uncomfortable. Then Emma and David are like clearly surprised Sophie's there and not super happy about it. Um, Everybody is unhappy that Lee Pace is there, but especially David, <laughs> who can't grow up and just think about yourself, worry about yourself, stop worrying about Lee Pace. <laughs> Like, especially, I mean, this is key, right? Lee Pace very, uh, comes out with a flourish and to like kick off the hurricane party, uses a sword to open a bottle of champagne and, uh, Pete Davidson is like, no, I could, I could do that. I could do that. (laughs) Okay. Is he just mad because he's also falling in love with him? Oh yeah. He, he's never felt I feel like he's got to be struggling with that. Mm -hmm. (sighs) Mm-hmm. Because how could you not? I feel like that's, he transcends all. (laughs) Oh, what a beautiful man. He's just so beautiful. So beautiful. And I love how he played so stupid. Like when Sophie and B show up, everybody's just underwater, which I thought was interesting. It was like, it's, it was like they were motion activated (laughs) like they all pop up Mm. when sophie and b come out and lee pace is the last one to come out and he's just like see told you i could hold my breath longest i've got really big lungs (laughs) (laughs) stupid i love it (laughs) um yeah and then alice is sort of the only one who's welcoming but even she puts her foot in her mouth and is like not really talking about sophie's addiction great she's like last time i saw you you were like shivering on a subway floor i thought i'd never see you again (laughs) like alice why didn't you help her uh not great so the hurricane starts and uh i have a question have Hmm. you ever gone to a hurricane party or a big storm party no can't say that i have have you Mm -mm, no oh okay (laughs) i was like are you about to tell me a story about a i have 
No, storms just like, I, I don't know. I do appreciate after moving that I have storms now. Um, yeah. I miss a good thunderstorm. That's been nice. Lots of lightning. It's been good. It's been loud. But no, I've never been to a hurricane party. Shout out LA. Yet. We're recording this before the storm really hits them. Yeah, so hopefully they'll be Hopefully be they're okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, it's rolling in right now, and I just saw that they also got hit with an earthquake today. So, oh, my God. What? Yeah. Double whammy. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, it's not great. Um, sorry to bring it down. Then they go <laughs> inside and decide to play I bet a there's game. a lot of parties. <laughs> oh, no. Um, I have played this game before, but not by this name. Bodies, bodies, bodies. What was yours? Murder in the something? I, I've heard murder in the dark. Murder in the dark? But Assassins is the one. Oh, I played Assassins. Okay. Yeah. 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 So the way this game works is um, uh, you've got this group of people. One person is, I guess you can like draw. They drew um, designations out of a hat. And one person uh, draws that they are the murderer. And so, oh, and you can also, there's also a variation where you like wink. At people. Mm, I've seen that one. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen that one. I've not played that one. Um, and one person is the murderer and then, um, they go around kill, killing people <laughs> surreptitiously mm-hmm. and the group, sometimes there's like one person trying to figure out who the murderer is and their role is detective. And mm. other times mm-hmm. it's just everybody trying to figure out who the murderer is. And this was an everybody situation. We're all just trying to figure out who that's going to be. And there was some reluctance to play this game because I guess everybody fights. I was like, Oh, is this monopoly? Is this monopoly for (laughs) y'all? But they play anyway. And, uh, Lee Pace dies in game, uh, immediately. And when he is like, quote unquote revived, David is really mean to him and Mm -hmm. also to Emma. Yeah. Really mean to Emma, really mean to Emma. And, (laughs) So Greg, like, leaves in a huff, goes to bed. David leaves in a huff to pout and grow up and grow up. But here's what I wanted to talk about. They, like, slapped each other before yeah, they, they played the game? Yeah, they had a slapping game. game. Yeah. What was that? So there, that actually, uh, so later in this episode, I'm going to be talking about a New York Times article, <laughs> but the, or a review, but there is a part where, she had talked about it and she was like, oh, it's just trying to reiterate that these people are bad people. But I personally took it as trying to um, kind of take away the innocence for B. So, like, she oh. was willing to hit somebody very hard. So you're less willing to believe that she's not the killer because oh. she's willing to join in these same games with them. I see. And be just as rough. Because at first she, like, slaps pretty soft. And then after a while it's, like, mm-hmm. hard-ass slaps. So, yeah. Uh, then you're like, oh, okay, so they're all, like, no one is innocent, is what I took from that game. So yeah, I took that it from was like it. a like a, a gang initiation, almost. Yeah. I didn't it see definitely it as, like... It felt, like, ritualistic. Like, yes, I agree. Or, like, a bonding thing. Like, it's yeah. definitely, like, mm-hmm. a... It's something like that. I didn't see it as, like, oh, these people are bad because they're slapping each other. And I was like, that that's no. a really short or really... Yeah, short-sighted reading of that scene, in my I, opinion. I do think that it it tickles at, like, a toxicity in the group, Oh, though. yeah, that's true. I agree. Especially since they've known each other for, for so long, you can almost see how it would have escalated. Like, maybe when they were kids, you, like, <sighs> high-fived or, like, patty-caked or whatever, and then it's just, like, Eventually you just slap each other. into this violence. I don't know. Like, that I was, have... I, and they all like they want to slap each other. They all and hate they each want other. to be slapped. Like yeah, <laughs> fucking slap me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That was weird. Uh, uh, when Pete Davidson punches Lee Pace, that's real. Lee Pace gave oh, him yeah, permission really him. Yeah. to like <laughs> fucking punch him in the face. Don't hurt his beautiful face. <laughs> yeah, that would be the worst thing you could do. Also, when they're like crawling around in the dark this whole movie is in the dark basically yeah did you read that the the lighting guy for the movie the cinematographer jasper wolf sorry yes him (laughs) thank you i was just really happy about what he did and i tried to look at his other movies and i was like i haven't seen them because you explained then you looked it up 
Well, he's worked with the director before, and, like, I, well, he did a bunch of lighting through just the cell phone lights, so that's why everyone had, like, excess lights. But they also, like, turned on the 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 front-facing light mm-hmm. with their regular light, so it gave light to their face. And then he had a light, like, on his camera that would only directly point to where he was shooting. But it was, like, super hard to get shots that were perfect because of the fact that it had to only be lit by the things that they had. In yeah, the like, scene. the actors are literally lighting themselves. Which I think is so impressive. Yeah, absolutely. It sounds very hard. (laughs) Yeah. So they're crawling around in the dark. But then the power actually goes out and we lose light. We lose Wi-Fi. We lose cell service. Mm -hmm. Um, And B is wandering around and finds Pete Davidson gurgling. He's gurgling outside. Mm -hmm. Throat slit. Uh... He's not dead yet, but he's about to be. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. at this point, you think Lee Pace did it, right? I feel like I didn't think that because I was like, that's the obvious choice that they're trying to push us towards. So it's not him, Right, right, right. Yeah. Was what I thought. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought it was the last person who showed up, which was. Oh, oh, oh. You don't mean to the party. Jordan. You mean to his death. Yeah, oh, I thought it was Jordan. I was like, I feel like it's Jordan because she was the last one to show up. And she was like suspiciously late. There was like a yeah. long delay before she arrived. But yeah. she did do like, she was like, a, but she was the one that, and she was very proactive of trying to get everyone to go and get help. So that made me mm-hmm. feel like maybe she's not the problem. And then whenever they got into the car, the reason the car wasn't working was B's problem. So, like, it it, yeah. it was just so much, like, everyone had – everyone was suspicious. But because we followed B from the beginning, we knew her checking her face was not the reason. Right, like, yeah. Like, we're, we're pretty sure B oh, is not oh, the problem. There. So when she – oh, my God. Or am I losing it? So oh. – I only just remembered this when B was getting out of the car after checking her face and leaving the mirror open. Mm -hmm. There's like a, she doesn't say it, but there's a voice that says that game of yours. What? Am I losing it? Yeah. I didn't hear that voice. I, it was so, I thought it had something to do with like, okay. So the reason she was checking her face, she like put on lipstick before she went into the house and so I thought that that was maybe like a maybe I like a I don't think she put on lipstick yet. She, she puts it on, on lips- again. Oh, she, okay. Yeah, um, she puts it on in the car. Where are I, I guess now I'm now it's now I'm, I'm calling it all in question. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I heard something. You might have. Maybe I missed it. Well, but it doesn't come back like that. Never hmm. resurfaces. So I don't know. Maybe I. Maybe my spirit box has unlocked something. Is yelling? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, where were we? Pete Davidson's though? dead. Pete Davidson's dead. Yeah. Um. And then <laughs> everyone's suspicious of Lee Pace. Yeah. Greg. Everyone's suspicious of Greg. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to say their names. Well, it's fine. He's about to die. Sorry, spoiler. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, everybody's suspicious of him. And they, like, gear up with w- weapons and go looking for him and find him sleeping in the gym. And when he wakes up, <laughs> they're like, what are you doing in here? And he's like, I came in here to do my exercises. <laughs> yeah. And he's wearing, like, a light mask. And he's just like, I couldn't sleep. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. At that point, you're like, oh, he definitely didn't do it. <laughs> no, he did not do this. You're like, this big this big oaf did nothing. No, um, he's been... But because everyone's got all those weapons pointed at him, he's like, oh, no, it, they're going to kill yeah. me. Well, and he, like, first thinks that they're still playing bodies, bodies, bodies. And so he's, mm-hmm. like, antagonizing them. And, yeah, it things just escalate. Only gets worse. Things mm-hmm. just escalate. And then... <sighs> B fucking hits him in the head with a kettlebell a bunch of times. Yeah. He was killing him. <laughs> going after Sophie. Yes. So she like he he shoved Sophie or something. Like something happened to Sophie. And that was like yeah. B was being like protective. I agree, but he it was also, a, it like, was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> and especially like after the first hit, he goes down. And then she keeps going. 
Yeah. I Yikes. wonder if she has like a history of things happening. And she... I thought that it was very, especially since we learned that she's been like caring for her mom. That's mm-hmm. so stressful. Even when you're fully grown, if you're just a little 20 yeah. something, like she's stressed out. She's got a lot on her plate right now. Yeah. And a lot of that is like protecting people. So I see yeah. how like her flight. F- Fight or flight really kicked His in major overdrive. fight. Yeah, major <laughs> but fight. Like, whoa, <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. Uh, whoa. So we got two. We got two bodies. We got two bodies. Yep. We just need one more, and then the ritual will be complete. <laughs> I was a little bit like, oh, thank God the boys are out of the way, and now we can <laughs> just focus. Now we can focus. <laughs> Um, and then people just start dropping like flies from this point. Like after Greg's death, the girls are really starting to turn on each other. Mm -hmm. Um, everybody's suspicious of everybody. And (laughs) this was, this is also when like the real themes of the movie start to come out. Like people start hiding behind, um, stuff that you would have seen on Twitter. (laughs) Like even... (laughs) Even at this point, Jordan is like, uh, statistically, Greg was most likely to kill us. And I was like, men, right. And then she was like, he's a vet. vet. And I was like, oh, Hmm. that's not what I would have thought. And then he wasn't even like a Marine. He He was was a veterinarian, which makes him the nicest person. (laughs) And she's like, still, still. Still. He had a bag with a knife in it. And I was like, well, it's a go bag. My go bag also has a knife in it. <laughs> Your go bag should have a knife in it. <laughs> it is an oh, improper God. go bag without one. Why oh, wouldn't my you God. have one? Yeah. <laughs> and they were also like, why did he have a map, a paper map? Because a fucking hurricane it's a go is bag. coming. <laughs> Your cell phones are gonna aren't going to work. <laughs> so stupid. So, and then, yeah. This is where they like split up and B changes clothes and she puts on lipstick again here. Mm-hmm. Is that just yeah. like a self soothing? Her wall, she thing? was covered in blood and then she went and she found a closet and she found like mm-hmm. nice clothes and stuff and nice yeah. makeup. So I wonder if it was also like. Oh, play pretending. Yeah, at trying being to rich. fit in or trying to be part of it. And yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't ever get explained. No. We get to we get to just sit with that, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, while everybody is separated, Sophie does drugs, gives additional drugs to Emma, who was already out of it. We should not have just handed her like a baggie full of pills and sent her on her little merry way. Mm-hmm. Um, and Jordan's just creeping around. And then Alice hears screaming and finds Emma dead at the bottom of the stairs. Mm-hmm. With like so much blood all down the yeah, stairwell. Yeah, the most. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Where did all that come from? <laughs> is that don't know? Greg is that what splatter? happens during a fall? I don't know. Is that what? Like splatter from the brutal death of Greg, where blood went everywhere. I no, don't think she so. That's got to be, gotta be... that much. No, she wouldn't. That was just all her. Uh, anytime you get brain, anytime something hits you in the head, there's so much blood, right? So that would just had to so. have been like her yeah. blood everywhere. I don't know. I guess so. It's pretty gross. I guess so. Yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> so now it's the four of them, and now they're f- freaking yep. out because they're like, I'm sure one of us is the one. Or somebody keeps saying... Max. Yeah. Yeah. There was another person here at the hurricane party the night before. He left. Why did he leave? He got, they got a fight into a fight with... because he's in love with Emma. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So they're like, maybe it's him. Mm-hmm. Uh, creeping around, creepy crawling around in the dark, killing us. Which maybe, maybe it's him. Yeah. And then they just get into a big fight, and then they kick B out because they're like B is suspicious. We don't know her. Um, yeah. And then she gets kicked out. But then she also f- has a suspicion that um, oh, she sees Jordan get a gun. Yeah. And she also has a suspicion that Sophie might be cheating on her with Jordan because Jordan's yeah. underwear is in her car. Mm-hmm. Mm, and then they get back inside and hilarity ensues. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all just so funny. <laughs> <laughs> this part is really funny. <laughs> like, I, yeah. 
<laughs> and it's also, I don't know, this scene is sort of the crux of the movie, I think, right? Like, uh, this yeah. is where everybody puts their cards on the table, but it's like ridiculous cards. And you're like, <laughs> what? so dumb. <laughs> Uh, lives have been ruined because of these people's petty inability to yeah. talk to each other. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, they're just fighting. And, boy, Jordan is a real B-word in this scene. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, She's, like, mad at Sophie for wrecking their friend group with her addiction. Okay. And That's she, like, kind. says, like, you're the trauma. You're my trauma. I had to go to therapy. I have PTSD bills. And she's like, this is all because of you. And you're like, what? Girl, what? take care of yourself. What's going on? <laughs> Why are you? And then you find out that she might be sleeping with. And she's like, go check her phone, I think. Mm-hmm. Or is that after that? But then you get, uh, oh, her, Alice. Then you get Alice. Alice. Yeah. <laughs> she's just like screaming and she's getting upset about everything. But she's still just being, like, bubbly and, like, still upset, yeah. but, like, still, like, just the best. But the best part, she she shoots her in the leg because she's like, stop. Just. And then she's like, oh, my God, you shot me. She's like, I didn't shoot you. And she's like, you have the gun in your hand. You shot me. It was just such a, like, uh, you shot me. No, no, I didn't. Like, no, I did Literally, you are the only person who could have done this, and you still cannot own it. Just take responsibility. But she was so convincing in that moment. Like, I believed that she didn't shoot her. I was like, or at least she didn't believe that she shot her. She was like, there's no way I could have done this. I'm not this kind of a person. I almost was like, so is Max here and he like yeah. shot her but from, from outside and we just haven't like <laughs> no no jordan no. just shot alice in the jordan leg. did it yeah and then these fucking kids fight over this fucking gun like children and of course what what you think is gonna happen happens but they draw it out they like <laughs> there's a moment they are like fighting over it fighting over it fighting over it it gets flung out of one of their hands and you're like they're going to come to their senses. We could stop fighting over the gun. Nobody got shot. No, they fucking dog pile on it. Yeah. <laughs> and poor Alice gets shot. And then we in the lose throat. Alice. Throat. Yeah. Which is, it only just occurred to me. What you use for podcasting. <laughs> it's what you use for podcasting. We got her in the podcasting tool. <laughs> oh, no. We got her right in the podcast. <laughs> Uh, but this is also the scene where we learn that um, B's mom has uh, borderline personality disorder. And I was going to be so fucking pissed if they made this about that. Like, oh, yeah, they blamed her. But then Alice was like, but Alice yeah. was like, no, this is important. You've been through a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it was so good. I was like, okay, that, okay. <laughs> There's at some point, God, what were they even arguing about? But Alice was like, this is how I know you're not a real ally like me. <laughs> like, <laughs> like she was like appropriating whatever. <laughs> like, Man, everything about her character. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Very funny scene. Um, and then I guess Sophie and B try to run away. Mm-hmm. And Jordan, and Jordan doesn't them. like it. Jordan doesn't like it. And then B pushes Jordan off the stairs from Mm -hmm. uh, an upper floor and she falls. And her dying words, like you were talking about with um, looking at her phone. Yeah, Jordan is trying to tell B not to trust Sophie because she and Sophie have been having an affair. And her dying words are look at her phone. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That fucking sucks. Yeah. (laughs) No, I don't want to be thinking about a phone as I die. And also, I don't want to be trying to, like, proving myself right at the moment of my death. (laughs) You know? That's pretty funny, though. (laughs) It is funny. (laughs) Yeah, nobody wants it. But the fact that that's what it ended up being for her was pretty funny. It's really somebody that was like, yeah, who was upset and angry and trying everything, trying to figure it out the entire time. 
I was like, well, do you think it's, do you not think it's B now? Now you, do you think it's Sophie? Like what's going on? Like, who do you think it is? Like, yeah. You're afraid of both of them. Like it's, and then, uh, then you're, then there are two and you're like, well, is it Sophie? Cause you're, you're following B for the most part. So you're like, it's not B. We've been with her when most of these deaths occur. So you're like, well, is it Sophie? Is Sophie the killer of all of the people? And then you're like trying to go back. See, like Sophie, Emma kisses Sophie yeah. right before Emma dies. So you're like, and she's like delayed a little bit to boo, Pete Davidson, David's death. Oh, sorry, she is a little bit later, <laughs> and she is kind of like in the area because she was like, oh, B, it's not this way. You need to go the other way. Mm-hmm. So it's kind. Of, she's already like. So you're like going through all these things, and you're like, yeah, maybe, maybe it was her all along. Yeah, like maybe she turned up to get revenge on all of her friends, mm-hmm. like quote unquote friends. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. And that's what happens next, right? Like we're down to the two and they are very honest with each other. <laughs> They're like, I'm scared of you. <laughs> mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so they separate and just hide in the house alone the rest of the night. And then the next, the next morning, storm is gone. Sun's a shining. And this is so good. This is mm-hmm. such a perfect ending <laughs> to a movie. And once again, if you have not seen it, this is the yeah. moment that I would say stop listening to us. Go watch stop it. Stop listening. <laughs> they go outside and B still has the gun. So when Sophie approaches her, she like goes in to hug her and is like, I'm so glad you made it. And B pulls the gun and is like, show me your phone. Like... She doesn't trust her anymore. Show me your fucking phone. And uh, they fight over it, like, in the mud by the pool. Mm -hmm. They're fighting over this fucking phone. And then realize it's not Sophie's. It's Pete Davidson's. And so they go over and use his dead face (laughs) to unlock the iPhone, where they see the last thing happening on the phone was him trying to film a fucking video of himself opening a bottle of champagne with the sword. And he killed himself (laughs) in a freak champagne opening accident so fucking stupid so fucking perfect chef's kiss incredible there was no murderer everybody just couldn't everybody just lost it yeah (laughs) yep the moment one thread was pulled everything just like fell yep house of cards they were living in over there so good and the end the last line what was it max comes up and then all of a sudden, all the lights and everything turn on, and you just hear their phones beep. And then yep. B says, I have service. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're just like dead bodies everywhere. And you're like, I have oh, service now. How are you going to get out, out of, of this? That? No, there is no way. Like, how do There's you explain? There's no way. I mean, they're oh going to pay God. their way out of it, I suppose. Or I guess B's going B to jail. B won't. Yeah. yeah. B's screwed. <sighs> Yeah, great movie though. Love the movie. ending. Did not know the ending. That was the best. The moment that I saw that, I was like, "Wow, wow, <laughs> wow!" I was filled with such glee. I was like, shout laughing. I was so happy. It's so good. That was so good. That's probably. I feel like that's one of my favorite endings to a horror movie I've seen. Yes. Yeah. It wouldn't have been any good if it suddenly was like. Oh, it was Sophie. Yeah, like, it was Sophie the entire time. No, having that twist where he just did it to himself and then everybody yeah. just fucking <laughs> couldn't, couldn't uh, be a person be, after that. Yeah. It's also like, like if they had had internet, would they have been okay? You know, like would they have been able yeah. to figure it out? Or Oh, man. So funny. So stupid. I have reception. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's so bad. Not really, not like a classic monster to show in this one. This was more like holding up a mirror oh. to society. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Weird Beautiful. monster. Gen Z is the monster. I don't think Yeah, okay. Monster. I think we can all agree yeah. on that for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry, Gen Z. Um, uh, I'm very on my phone. I think I might be the monster. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are you saying if we were ever in a situation where we both didn't have our phones, we would kill each other? You know, I don't think so. I would um, hope not. I feel like 
we're pretty solid, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Do we have any grievances we should air real quick? Just get them out there? None that I can think of. Do you think my podcast is dumb? Yeah. So yeah, dumb. Yeah, me too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I liked that she was like, she hate listens to your podcast. And I was like, well, at least she listens. Like, <laughs> yeah, you get those that, numbers. Like, you get That's those not downloads. That's that bad. <laughs> I was like, I wouldn't be upset with that, I don't think. So I thank you, hate really, listeners. <laughs> I really liked that part because Jordan rolls her eyes and Alice is like, did you just roll your eyes at me? And Jordan says no, but rolls her eyes again like she physically <laughs> Can't cannot. <help> it. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, I didn't I don't have any fun facts for this one, but I know that you did some additional reading. Tell me more. So mine was whenever it originally came out, I was going to watch it. And then there was a lot of drama around a New York Times review and Amanda. Um, Sandberg, is that her last name? Sandberg? Stahlberg? Amanda Stahl- Stahlberg? Um, the girl Stenberg who plays is what I have. Stenberg, yeah, okay. I wrote it very, um, my handwriting is terrible. Not only my name <laughs> pronunciation, but handwriting as well. Um, but a writer called... Her name's Lena Wilson. She wrote a review in the New York Times of this movie. She did not like the movie, um, and she made that very clear. Um, And she had said, like, it was about youthful nihilism. She said it is a 95-minute ad for Cleavage or the new Charlie Charlie XCX single or something like that. So that was, like, the main takeaway from it. So Amanda had sent her a DM a DM, mm-hmm. uh, if yeah. you guys know what that is, it's a direct message. <laughs> so it's not public. It is direct to that person. And it said, your review is great. Maybe if you had gotten your eyes off my tits, you could have watched the movie. And so um, Lena decided that, um, and then she responded and she said, I'm sorry that I upset you. Or she might not have said that, but she's like, I really, uh, or I'm a fan. Hope you have a great career. Good night. Or something like that. Something along those lines. I don't think she apologized. How old is the reviewer? Oh, Uh, she didn't apologize. She she may not have apologized. I can't remember. Let me see. Let me check. I'm just trying to get a sense of like, is she a peer? Is she our age? Is she an old? I don't know. Okay. Late 20s, early 30s. So yeah. So she'd be a peer, I would say. Okay. Okay. Um, But she had written this and she had said, um, she had said that. And I don't know about you, and that's why I took away from the movie that it was just going to be about sex and it wasn't going to be. But, like, the only time that I was, like, boobs was, like, Alice at the beginning because of her bathing suit was super extreme. And I was like, oh. And I was like, oh, okay, there are going to be boobs everywhere. And then I was like, oh, the boobs are not that noticeable. It's a, they're, no. They were having a pool party, but it wasn't. Like, I, there was no gratuitous cleavage, in my opinion, that I noticed. Throughout no. that film. But I thought that, that <laughs> no, was the film. No, I don't film. think so either. Yeah, and that's what turned me off to the movies because I thought that that's what it was going to be. So her review did a huge disservice to that. Wait, and Sophie doesn't even, she's not even in a bathing suit. She wears like a, a tank top, or not a tank top, but like a, what's the thing where it's short? Oh my God. Oh, her midriff is Yeah, showing? what are those called? <laughs> Crop top? She, yeah, she wore a crop top or a tank top or something, but it wasn't like anything extreme. Like it wasn't extreme. Like nothing in the entire yeah. movie that I thought I thought was like that wasn't a big focus of it in my no. opinion. <laughs> the like the one piece of clothing that is like notable is that pink sweater that B changes into. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like I don't even I don't know. They were just they were just wearing clothes. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, it took me a second to even remember that Alice did have cleavage, but that was just, they weren't even like highlighting it. That was just she a bathing wearing, suit. It was even a one piece. It was a one piece. <laughs> yeah. Like it wasn't, I did not think it was too much, I guess. Um, but no, she had, she, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Read me the quote again. She said it was like a cleavage. Fest she said it was a 95 minute ad for cleavage. Oh, and a Charlie XCX single or a new Charlie XCX single. Okay. Um, and I was like, okay. Um, Okay. Um, And then she said it's a movie about fat cats going splat. And she, like, made it a big focus. 
the main part was the cleavage one, and then we'll get more into that. But I just wanted to critique a little bit more. Of, this is a critique of a critique, if, I, if, yeah. you, if, if you guys are okay with that. But she said it was about fat cats going splat and how people like to see billionaires get their comeuppance. And I was like, I don't think that that what, is what this movie's about or what I got from it at all. No. And I actually found them a little more relatable than I would normally. They felt like 20-somethings going through something and just, like, trying to figure out life. And still, friendships are weird. And... They had different experiences, but I didn't hate them. No. Like, Pete Davidson was a piece of shit. Like, that was the only one that I was like, I mean, he's kind of, he's shitty. He's mean. Yeah. He's not a good. Yeah. Uh, everybody else, I was like, kind of bummer. <laughs> like, I liked all of them. Yeah. And I you and I are Jordan, the two people that are like, honest. yeah, billionaires in submarines. That's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, you, we are people that come from a land of not liking, like, that's, yeah, and I was like, this. So as I was going through this, she she was talking about that slapping game, about it being like, um, like oh, I get it, you're bad. And she said the, mor- oh, yeah. the moral lands with a whimper and not a bang. And I was like, I thought the end was a major bang because it was like he did it to himself because of arrogance. And then everybody else fucking ruined it because I was like, that's so good. Like, that yeah. is a bang. That is a bang. Especially um, in like that last line. I don't know. That puts such a cherry on top. Like I have reception. That's because that works both ways. Like, Mm -hmm. Oh, I literally have cell reception. And also like my brain fucking has reception again. Like we were all lost when we were inside in the dark with nothing tethering us to the outside world. And we just like, like caved in on them on ourselves. And then you get outside and you have reception. That's yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I don't yeah, think that so I was, fair. And I had read that review and I was like, maybe it is not great. And then, uh, but after she had taken that DM, she had reposted it on her TikTok and was like, I can't believe this. I'm a big fan of her. And she, she like got mad and she was like, I don't like this. Um, uh, she said something about like lesbian locker room bullying from another lesbian. And she was like upset about that. And she was saying things. She was saying things like that, and then everyone was like, girl, that's a DM. She didn't, and she was yeah. like, she has more influence. She has a bigger following. I just want to get ahead of this before she sends people after me. And then everyone was like, that was a DM. She didn't post anything about it. She hasn't said anything about you on anything that she's written. Nothing's yeah. been about you. You are literally trying to hurt her, even though she sent you a direct DM, and you're saying that you're trying to get ahead of it because you're afraid she's going to tell her followers to go do something to you, but you're the one calling yourself out. This is so funny. Like the reason she didn't get the movie is because she's caught up in the thing that the movie was actually critiquing. Exactly. (laughs) Oh, that's funny. Um, I mean, it sucks, but that's funny. And then, you know, I did see that Amandla, that was a lot of the commentary around this movie was Mm -hmm. about her boobs. Mm hmm. Like, but like not just in this review. Yeah. No, and then I, she didn't, ended I up literally stuff did about not even notice. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, and I, like, going back through it, I was like, oh, I remember. But I didn't remember when I was watching the movie, and it didn't take me out. Like, I don't know. Um, but then I, she did, Amandala did respond, and she, like, responded kind of nicely. But then the way that Lena was responding to her was basically like, oh, I'm not looking at her stories or anything. I'm not going to. I wish her the best. I'm not going to pay attention to her. Um, well, she obviously has something going on. And Ugh. and I was like, girl. Mm, mm. That um, sucks. Oh, my God. So then she ended up deleting her social media because obviously she has made a mess of things. by put. She just kept digging a hole. She just kept finding oh like God. a shovel and digging and digging. But um, she broadcasts the DM saying the things in her statement would lead. To, oh. Oh, I said she was more offended by the movie because she is, in fact, the terrible por- person that she's saying that the movie exemplifies. I think that she is the mean characters that she thought that she... But, like, they were likable. <laughs> <laughs> they were likable. <laughs> this girl is not. Like, she's mean. She is a mean girl. Uh, like, what? I what are I, you doing? Her website links her, like, TikTok and... I guess she's a big horror movie fan. I don't know. I guess I need to like what happened here. This I, yeah. is exactly what happened in the movie. Like things just escalated because nobody was listening. And what happened? Like, uh, I, Amanda was like nice in response yeah. to her. Like she was like, Oh yeah. And she talked about how it was 
impactful that she did end up having, like, she was like, oh, yeah, Hollywood's not used to anything larger than an AB cup, so it does seem really obvious whenever Mm. someone's bigger. And she was, like, being nice about it. And I was like, you don't have to be. She has to, like, talk about her boobs like But she wrote, like, such a scathing review, and really, at the end of it, she just should have said, I watched this movie and I didn't understand it. Thanks. Or just don't say anything. Just don't write anything. (laughs) Yeah, but she doesn't seem like the person who can stay away from that. I also thought it was funny that she said that it was a movie about nihilism when at the top of the movie, literally one of the lines is they just present themselves as nihilistic on the internet. They're not like that in real life. Like, oh yeah, that is exactly, I forgot about that. It's literally in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, cause she was like That's comparing funny. it. She was like, oh, they're going to be like euphoria. And I was like, that is, no one's like, no one was like that in the movie. Like maybe like, Sydney Sweeney's character, I guess, but not so much like any of the other characters. I think she. I, I didn't watch Euphoria. Oh, okay. Never Nobody mind. had the Euphoria makeup in this. <laughs> so definitely <laughs> super different. Um, but That's yeah, all I, know. I was so frustrated. And I remember when that happened, I was like more upset with the drama, but because of that review, I was like, well, maybe it's not going to be a movie that I'm going to like because that influenced me. I didn't even like her. Yeah. I didn't even like how she was just, like talking to the person, but it did push me away from it. So your words have an impact. I almost didn't get to watch a really fucking good movie, and I'm yeah, mad about it. Bummer. I'm mad about it. I'm mad about putting it off. I'm mad that her words influenced me that much. Drama sucks. Amen. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what a, like... That sucks. I don't know. I th- Great performances in this movie. I hope that they all... It sounds like Amanda Oh, no. Already... Now I feel bad. Hashtag horror might be a good movie for somebody. It's just not for me. It's... I don't... I don't know. I have, we, I have given skating <laughs> reviews to some movies. That's true. <sighs> maybe... Maybe I am the problem. I... T- how, here's what I will say, though. In almost every case, we are clear to be like, we're dumb. We don't know what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, sometimes we're like, this might have gone over our head. And that's what that review should have said. It should have said, this might yeah. have gone over our head. I might be wrong. I, I don't think we're wrong about hashtag horror. I don't know. Write in. <laughs> Listeners. Watch hashtag horror and let us know. We're going to give them so much money. <laughs> I don't I feel like it was maybe like a a dollar to rent. No, watch Dead and Breakfast, guys. Watch Dead and (laughs) Breakfast. Dead and Breakfast. Can't find it anywhere. Torrenting's coming back. Uh, (laughs) Non spawn. Non non spawn. But maybe. (laughs) Torrenting the idea. We get a brand deal with the idea of torrenting. Oh my god. Yeah, that'd be the best. (laughs) Uh do we have any more thoughts on this one? No, just go watch it. I go hope watch that you it. watched it before we spoiled the ending because the ending was yeah. not knowing the ending and going into it and seeing it. I'm just glad that I shielded myself from that. I think that I did hear at the time that the ending was really good. So oh. I was like, oh. And I didn't remember it until I saw the ending. And I was like, this ending is really it good. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> they were right. I should have listened to them. Damn it. I don't remember why I didn't watch it. I just didn't. I just Damn. didn't. Because we were psyched about watching it. I think I think you. if mm-hmm. we go back and listen to our episodes, we talk about, like, that we're yeah. looking forward to it releasing. Weird. Oh, you know what? <sighs> Should have done this at the top. I finally watched uh, We're All Going to the World's Fair. <gasps> oh! Yeah. Yeah, that was also one of the long-standing list ones. Mm-hmm. How was yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, weird. It okay. was weird. Okay. And, like, uh, more, more internet-y themed. Okay. Like, um, like putting yourself online okay. does weird things to you type of oh, a movie. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, I think I need to watch it again because of, I don't, oh, here, I'm about to do it. <gasps> I don't think I understood it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I thought, uh-huh. like, I was trucking along. I thought I was with it. And then, and then, I don't know, maybe the last... 15 minutes I was like now okay wait (laughs) hold on (laughs) you lost me you're like do I need to watch it again should I rewind I think yeah I think I'm gonna have to okay um 
So that's it. That was. Um, I'm good. I'm glad to know. Let me know when you rewatch it. I'll let you know. If I'm yeah. gonna, maybe I'll watch it and then we'll talk about it and then we'll figure maybe it out. We we'll figure record it. Out it. Well, together. maybe we talk about it and re-record it and then we release yeah. it to people. <laughs> what a novel okay. idea. So what this are we doing fun. next week? We are going to do Truth or Dare next week. Um, I don't know anything about this movie except that they play Truth or Dare. That's because you'll spot remember on. it's our party game series. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you've seen this one? I have. Okay. I've heard just dreadful things about it. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. Yay. I'm not going to press that. So, <laughs> you do you take okay. with that what you will. So, Can't hopefully, wait. it'll be a fun one. It's no Happy Death Day. God, I love that movie. I thought God, about that Happy earlier Death today. Day. Yeah, I what did a too. good movie. <laughs> do you think uh, we were thinking about it at the same time? We're still in our own bodies. So, we got to plan that better. <laughs> bodies, bodies, bodies. Okay. <laughs> uh, on that note, <laughs> make Happy sure spooky? to go. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's right. Like and subscribe. Give her a rate and review. Social media. We're on X at No Show Monster. Oh, you did that. You did that. <laughs> it made me, um, I felt the bile rise in my throat. Yeah, that made um, me hurt and I don't even yeah. use it. I didn't like oh. it. It's because I'm um, coming down with something. Uh, yeah, that- <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta get us a blue sky code. Uh, we're also on Instagram at No Show Monster. We're on most of the socials at No Show Monster. And please tell your friends if you're digging the show, have them come over. We can all do a movie night. How fun would that be? Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, come back next fortnight to talk about Truth or Dare. Happy spookies. Happy spookies. We did it. We did it. Okay, here comes the spirit box if you want to give it a listen. It's weird and it's, uh, it might be jarring <laughs> uh have fun In-